popping bottles in the kitchen. I feel so fancy. Is that you okay? Oh! Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Let's kick into holiday mode with some holiday cocktails. We are getting lit. No, I'm only joking. I'm so excited. I'm not even drunk yet. Okay, let's start off with something fruity. Burger for Rosemary. Okay. We're there. We swapped. If you guys haven't seen our other video, do check it out. Holiday recipes. So in goes ice. Step one complete. I don't know what Aperol is. I clearly don't drink much. It looks good. I don't have a shot glass, but I have this little tiny Marc Jacobs coffee cup. That looks like a lot though. You know what, I'll just, I'm just gonna eyeball it. How much alcohol is that? I, I don't know. Is this even alcohol? Does it have alcohol in it? It has to have, right? 11% alcohol in this. It doesn't sound like much. I think we could, we can handle this. <laughs> Cranberry juice, I know what that is. I'm just gonna eyeball that too. Okay, okay, bartender Tina is doing this. Prosecco. Oh, I'm not good at opening this. Popping bottles in the club. I mean, in the kitchen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm scared. We're gonna lose an eye. Break a glass or something. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, it's coming. Whoa! <gasps> that scared me. That scared me. Oh my god. Okay, we're alive. We're alive to tell the tale. I forgot how much I'm pouring. I'm gonna eyeball this too. Top it up with just barely soda. And then now we, I guess we put the finishing touches. Stick in some orange slices. Oh my God, it's kind of big. Fit. Oh. Wow. Should we oh. top it up with some strawberries? Is that weird? Oh my God. What, did I go to mixology school? Look at that. Welcome to Tina's bar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mix it. Well, now I can just mix it now. Okay, I hope this tastes good. Wow, wait, let me do a little swirl. Mm. <sighs> I haven't had a drink in so long. <gasps> Cheers. I mean, it looks really pretty. Cheers. Mm. Got like the perfect amount of fizziness, like not overly fizzy. Fruity, citrusy. I like that I added some chunks of strawberries because it tastes good. It's actually very refreshing. And I can see why people like this in like the summer. I feel like it's a very summery drink, but this is the winter version. I feel so fancy. Oh uh, yes, we are ladies who lunch. It tastes like alcohol. <laughs> I think this is kind of dangerous because you can kind of keep drinking and drinking. It tastes like a fizzy orange juice with a bit of cranberry. Well, it looks very pretty. That's what I said. Nice. Is there alcohol in this? Yeah. There's but, alcohol in it. It's really nice. This is actually really good. I've never ordered something like this. A very like fancy. I would say this is a very easy to drink sort of introductory to cocktails. Like, you know, if you're not much of like a fan of alcohol or don't like something too strong, this is very nice and light and fruity. And you can go through a couple glasses of this and not really feel like you're drinking, drinking. Look at Zen, she's like, she's so quiet. Never, <laughs> never seen her so quiet. <laughs> Thumbing this one up? Yeah. yeah. Thumb. 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 Very good, easy to drink. If you like whiskey sours, check this recipe out. I'm 
we drunk already? <laughs> Zen and I were like, ooh, we're feeling a bit lightheaded already. <laughs> it's been a while since we had alcohol. That recipe looked good. It was a bit different. Definitely like above my like solologist skill level. So I don't have that torch thing that he used. So I was like, I wonder if I can use one of these. Oh, another thing, I don't have blood oranges. I've just got a, a plain old ordinary orange. Same thing, I think, you know, let's just use what we have. This is doing absolutely nothing then. I have an idea, might work, might be weird, but let's just put it in the air fryer. Wait, what am I doing? Oh my! God is angry with us, it's storming outside. Oh, Zen disappeared on me, maybe she's like drunk. I have a little shaker. Okay, Zen's back. Whiskey. whiskey. What's the difference between Scotch whiskey and whiskey? One's from Scotland. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that same cup. I don't know if we can handle that much whiskey. Whiskey, the smell makes me feel sick. It's blood orange juice. Oh, Yeah, it's fancy. It was like $5. It's not cheap for this little thing. Squeezing in some lemon juice. I guess it's supposed to be sour, right? <laughs> Whew. Simple syrup. So I had to Google simple syrup, but it's basically like sugar and water. In goes egg white. Oh, that's weird. That's so weird. Shake it. Why is it leaking? Did I not like clothes or properly? What's leaking? I'm out of paper towels. It's still leaking, but okay. <laughs> it's leaking everywhere. Maybe oh this is not God. a good shaker. It was from Sunday Riley. It was PR gift. Oh, I'm not, I don't know if I like the smell of this then. Oh, it's cold. Oh my god, it's so cold. Oh, my hands are frozen. I'm but a bartender. I'm a bartender. Clearly, if you saw someone with a dripping cocktail shaker like this, do not trust them to make your drink. Oh, they even have like a strainer. It kind of doesn't look that creamy. Should I shake it more? Does it make it creamier? I've got frostbite, do you shake it? We've both shaken it, so I think that should be enough, right? Should we just make one drink of this? I don't know if I'll like it. This is one drink, one egg white, one drink. Now the orange, let's check out our orange. Our orange looks just a little bit more dehydrated. Didn't really get any like creme brulee cracking on it, but let's just put it on. Wow. wow. Oh, pleasantly surprised. Zen's like, Ugh. I don't like it. It's actually not that sour. I think I should have added a bit more lemon juice. What if we put, add a little bit of lime? Mm, better. Better? Better, 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 better. Better. Mm. Better. I don't like it as much as the previous one, but this is actually still good. Like, I wouldn't be mad if I ordered this one at a bar. I'd still drink it. I think Alpha like it. He likes whiskey. Yeah. Whiskey, right? I feel like it does feel a little bit like more manly. Masculine. It's like masculine drink. This is like fruity and girly. That one's a little bit more masculine. Is it different? What's Scotch whiskey? Scotch whiskey is just maybe Scotland. Scotland whiskey. Then oh, yeah. Zen was right. I don't know. I'm like, right. I'm like, what's a Scotch and what's a whiskey? Is that like the same thing as Scotch whiskey? There you go, Zen. You genius. Thoughts on this one? I would give it a side. I, I'd side thumb this one too. I don't hate it and I don't love it. I'm just like, I'm, like I'm neutral. I'm okay. Alpha yeah, likes it. So. That's all yours, baby. That's all yours. Pretty fancy to make though. When life gives you lime, what do you do? You make margaritas. Christmas cocktails are here. Let's make a cranberry margarita. Rimming my glass first, then let's get started on the drink. For this margarita recipe, I am using one and a half ounces of tequila, almost a full ounce of Cointreau, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and two ounces of cranberry juice. Shake, pour over ice, and enjoy, and make sure you're following for more holiday recipes. It's a party! So just lime that, you're right. Dip it into our Himalayan salt, because it's fancy. I've never done this before. This is really fancy. That's looking nice and fancy. Now we make le drink. I have no idea how much an ounce is. Do you reckon that's just like one and a half shot? Oh, I don't like the smell of this. Oh! Not a fan of tequila smell. Too strong. A full ounce of coin... coin... Contro? Yes. I don't even know what it is. Oh, it smells better. It smells better. Lime juice. Okay, let's just squeeze it like a bunch of limes in there. <laughs> I think 
<laughs> Seth's getting tipsy already. Okay, it's the holidays. We're test, taste testing so then you guys know what's good. So when you host your Christmas party, you can offer the best to your guests. Oh my god, this slime is strong. It doesn't want to be squeezed. I'm just gonna add more. Shake and then add ice, right? That must be like a bartender rule or something. Shake and then you add the ice. Then are you okay? <laughs> We're losing her! I have got too excited and chugged too many things at once. Zed, that was not too many. That was maybe just two. Okay. Oh, that's tequila. I like it, it's very pink. Should we add a lime slice? Oh! Ooh. Cheers! Your drink is dripping. Okay. Salt. Me too. Wait, drink from the same spot. Oh, it's a bit strong there. Oh, I like how it looks. I'm not sure if I like how it tastes. I've had margaritas before and I, they're always very strong for me. Should we top it off with strawberries? Would that make it better? <laughs> drink from the same spot. Yeah. Oh, it's very strong. Alfred! Hi Alfred. It's kind of bland, like water. It's like salt, it's just salt water to me. Mm. It's kind of mild. Mm. Yeah. We've been complaining that it's very strong. I feel like it's, it's very strong. strong. Are you drinking the same thing we're drinking? Now that I drink it, now it feels like water. See? It's super diluted. I'm sorry guys, am I like the only weak link here? Now that Alfred has brainwashed me. Oh, Alfred like brainwashed you. Okay, it's hold diluted. on, hold on, hold on. Oh, now I'm just tugging it. I don't know, man. You guys are hardcore. It's Wait, either they're both drunk and now they can't taste alcohol, or I'm just the weakling. I'm oh. very meh about it. I wouldn't order this again because it's too strong for me, but these guys seem to think it's water. Maybe because I don't like tequila, because I've always had not so great times with tequila. Okay, your ratings. Thumbs? I do like it. Side thumb. Side yeah, thumb. Side. It's okay then. See, told you. If you want to try something fancy, check out this smoked cocktail. This cocktail definitely seems a little bit way fancier than me, but I'm gonna try. See if I can burn this cinnamon stick to create like a, that smokiness. Might take a while. Uh, excuse moi. Excuse Zen over here. It's just gonna catch on fire any minute now. Oh, catch it! That was not enough. We're losing Zen. I hope the smoke alarm doesn't go off. Okay, there's some smoke. It's not very smoky. My cup's... Whew, that's smoky. That oh. cup is smoky. <gasps> Fancy. I hope this works because I only have normal whiskey. I don't have apple infused whiskey, but I'm hoping it still tastes good because we're using apple juice. I think this is the whole thing. Oh, damn. Oh. Well, that's a lot. Oh no, whiskey to apple juice <laughs> ratio might be a little bit off. Apple juice, the rest. Okay, we kind of butchered this recipe because I don't have tonic. I'll just use soda water. Is she tasty though? I like apple juice. I don't really love whiskey, but... Oh my god, I'm getting so lightheaded. <laughs> We're losing Zen. Our eyes are getting smaller. Okay. We made one of these. Why? Because we only had that much whiskey left. So we will share this. You like? You don't like. I would like you to try. Wow, it's very whiskey. The whiskey flavour is there for those of you who like whiskey. Yet. No, I taste the hint of apple. Do I taste the smokiness? No. No. I like this one better than the, the tequila one. Yes? yes? Yes. What? You like it? Yes. 
smoky. Oh, you taste the smokiness? We smoked it. Alfred likes it. There you go, maybe. You can have a mixture of cocktails at your holiday party. You know, something fruity for the ladies who like fruity. And then maybe for the guys that love their whiskey, smoked apple whiskey. <laughs> the fanciest whiskey I've ever had. Wow, my stomach is warm and I'll tell you what, I'm quite hot at the moment. I'm feeling that. Feeling a bit flushed, a bit guys. Now. What a great way to end the video. Alfred is happy with his whiskey. Zen is happy. Anyways. Happy. She's happy and I want to say tipsy, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. So is that a thumbs up for that one? I give it a one. Alpha gives that a one thumb, guys. One thumb. Well, that is it to this holiday cocktail. 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 What? Are we a gang now? Is that a cartel? I don't know. Okay, sorry guys. Rewind. That is it to our holiday cocktail recipe video. So left out without the We've got to get Alfred a headband. He he, he won't shut up about it. Huh? Fine. You wear this. Okay. I just want to let you know, I truly love you. I'm giving you this because I'm showing the internet my amazing mullet. <laughs> that is secretly why I love headbands at the moment because I don't know what to do with this. I'm like alfalfa on steroids. Ready? Alf there, you guys are happy now? Yes? Happy, happy? Ready to do our outro and say happy holidays! to all our amazing viewers out there. I hope you have enjoyed our TikTok series this year. More to come next year. But if you like and want to see more of us, check out our previous videos and happy holidays. We shall speak to you guys soon. Oh, and don't forget to thumb this video. And subscribe. Subscribe because you want to see these baby hairs grow, right? Wow, everyone's so silent with their drinks. Oh no, Zen, you should. Oh, Zen, finish that ticket. <laughs> no one showed her with me, did I show I've never, she, she, I've never she seen Zen. She's never one drink and I I've have to drink Zen my own. So before. Where's Cam? Cam, why don't you share the drink with Zen? Jeez. No he... one shared drinks with me. Zen, Zen is a quiet drunk, hey? Because so Zen's quiet. a quiet drunk. <laughs>